we had a Hall of Fame offensive line, so we know that going into that Super Bowl game that we had to protect Jim Plunkett. The 1980 Raiders offensive line dominated, anchored by Hall of Famers Art Shell and Gene Upshaw. Quarterback Jim Plunkett had plenty of time to throw. As Jim Plunkett and Cliff Branch quickly provided the game's first touchdown, followed just minutes later by a second. Branch to the left against Edwards. Chandler to the right. Plunkett on a straight drop back. Here comes the rush. Steps up. Can't find anybody yet. Tits off running to the left. Rolls on the move. And it's caught by Tim at the 40. Tim tits over the 50. Tim's all the way. Nobody knows. Coach Flores is a very quiet, stoic kind of uh, man, and I think his key was preparation. He was always trying to find a way to get in the end zone, and I was certainly trying to help him. And uh, I don't know what made us, you know, work together so well, but we also had a lot of talented players on our team, and obviously that helps. Jim is uh, the type of guy that has always made big plays in big games. The Raider offense kept the Philadelphia defense guessing the entire game. Raider linebacker Rod Martin didn't have to guess. He played as if he knew what was coming. Intercepting Eagle quarterback Ron Jaworski three times. Timely play by the Raider defense helped the franchise win its second world title in five years. Silver and black football is king of the hill in the National Football League. The Oakland Raiders are the champions of Super Bowl 15. Oakland 27, Philadelphia 10. We were the best team. We deserve to be world champions. I'm proud of you. To Tom Flores, the coaches, and the great athletes, you were magnificent out there today. You really are. I really think in my two Super Bowls as the head coach, that was probably our finest hour because how we did it as a wild card. It was a great organization victory. His joy in that post-game locker room was unbounded. An exciting moment for everybody involved, uh, for the, us first-timers, uh, for guys like Ted Henrichs and Dave Dalby and, uh, and several others uh, they had been there before, but for me it was a, the very first time and you know I couldn't have been any happier.